Pegasus, women, bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus real talks and Nikki Gamori's out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are rest interested on Twitter's Forge's channel. Anyways, um, follow me on Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. I don't know what happened with the microphone. It cut out. Stupid ass piece of crap was giving me a hard ass day. I just finished doing another video about something video game related. So one of the things that I cover besides video games and anime stuff. I want to try to focus on a little bit of comic book stuff. If any of you guys are interested in that, I'd be more than welcome to do any of that. Bring that to the stuff. Cause I was getting real deep for the past few months and a lot of DC stuff over Marvel. And Marvel's still pretty deep, pretty bomb too. But as I was saying before, I'll say it again before the mic cut out on me. Um, shout out to Gumi Swag because it took like 3,450 so far software sets for the Shiny's egg crumb. This, this little mofo right here, he is pissing me the hell off. I don't know what it is, how you get it. And shout out to Gumi Swag. Um, those two ended up getting a Shiny Kiram over Oz. It, I didn't go past 4,096 yet, but they did. And uh, I'll leave the links in the description box down below in the little information box on one of these two corners or whatever of the video. Yeah, they got a 5,480 something software set. So shout out to them. They definitely earned it. Because Kiram next to Zekron. Zekron's my 15th favorite legendary. It sucks I can't get Raikou because that's an Ultra Sun. And I don't have Ultra Sun. I only got Ultra Moon. Because I wasn't willing to shout out, shell out almost 100 bucks for both the damn games. That's where a lot of the rants I've heard. Unfortunately, yes, it is kind of the same game. So 80% of it's the same. There's like 20 or 23, 25% of the most. That's different. There's a little plot twist here and there. Some things got switched around. Other things got better than they did before. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to shiny hunt that in Zapdos. And that's it after I'm done with Zekron. As you can tell, I have it in the back right there in the little poster right there. Anyways, um, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. How did the anime series? Oh, no, I was kind of thinking about bringing comic book stuff there because I'm getting I'm getting a lot more deeper into DC stuff for the past few months over Marvel. Just my own personal thing. If any of you guys want me to bring that to the channel, I'm more than welcome and appreciative to do so. Anyways, um, oh, and I got a brand new hat thing. Really, really cool ass thing I got. And uh, it's granite. I don't really go to the mall that much. I got it from Hot Topic. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird me going over there because shit, it's old as hell. Anyways, let's get on to this thing. So um, I think I heard this from Anime News Network's official channel. I could be wrong. I don't know. An announcement of viewing intention ranking of winter animation program 2018. Regular services of entertainment. Consumer trends. EBI Express. GZ Blazing. Okay, so. Yeah, I tra had to translate this from Japanese to English. I can't read any of those for the life of me. So <laughs> be patient with your boy. Anyways, um, there's only two of the animes out of three that stuck up, stuck up to me, stuck out to me. The Car Captors wanted to bring the remakes to that. The Sakura was cool as hell. I've seen a lot of fan art from her. Regular one. It's a crazy over-sexualized one, too, so I'm not even going to get into that crowd. So here we go. So it says the first place of runner. And links down below if you want to read it yourself. First place runner. Uh, excuse me. First place is Resurrection Seven Greatest Loans Commander. Uh, I'm not going to read any of that because I'll butcher it. Hanumara. I don't know. Unveils the latest consumer ER trends of the entertainment such as movies, television, games, comics, and music from its own user survey. survey. This time, EBI Express, at EBI Express, we conducted a survey on the, in the intention to watch the winter anime program schedule to start broadcasting on January 2018 for men and women ages 5 to 9, living in 47 prefectures, prefectures, national, yeah, national, nationwide it was. There's a total, right, total ranking of TV watch Intel broadcasting of the system winter anime program is 2018. The work selects as I want, put, I want to watch from each anime program starts with the winter of 2018. Obviously, January is my birthday, which I'm really, really hyped as hell now. Hopefully, they bring something really, really good because if they don't, that's going to be a dick move, Japan. I'm just saying, Japan, love your beautiful, sexy Japanese women out there, but you got to do a little bit better than that besides fan service. My own personal preference. And hopefully, this little um, bastard's working, because if not, that's going to be a dick. Come on, go down. Give it to all the nice people that are watching me right now. That would be amazing. Thank you very much for 
like and comment and subscribe regardless if you do or not. Even if you watch the whole video, that's awesome. Oh, it did move a little bit. So I still can't read any of it. There's related press releases, but I'm not going to read any of that. Because it's completely unrelated to what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come the hell on, you dead ass. Hurry up. All right, okay. So the program that I would like to watch most of the winter, blah, 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 the Restoration of Seven Deadly Commandments. That one and the one that kid has the psychic powers. I really, really want to watch that. Nishi Yogi something. I really, really want to see that. And it did it again. What the hell? All right, hold on. The Seven Deadly Commandments. Based on the original manga work in the same name, the <clears throat> this work will be broadcast. Excuse me. The work will be broadcast October 2014. That was a while ago. The first phase of TV animation. The special version of TV animation will be broadcasted in August 2016, which was like last year, going on almost two years ago. And the theoretical version will be released in summer 2018, which is upcoming of next year. That's awesome. I can't wait to see that. We have gathered voice, excuse me, gathered votes from a wide range of generations, regardless of generations, and have won in a top men's ranking. In second place, card captor Sakura, or Sakura, card edition, ranked in as a topic in television animation that <clears throat> will be the first time in about 20 years. I'm I apologize. I'm sorry if I'm reading this all weird out because from going Japanese, this is kind of like rough translated English. I don't know. This is Google Translate. So any BS crap can happen here at any given point in time. Let's keep it moving. Car Captor, Captor Sakura is a popular manga serializing girls comic magazines from 1996 to 2000. I remember it was 97 when it came over here in the United States because it was on Kids WB and 4 Kids Entertainment. Even though they did a really poor ass job of like trying to dub anime, thank God Tsunami was there to completely rescue anime here in the United States because that was a big ass moment when I was about seven, eight years old when a lot of this anime series stuff started getting really, really blown out of proportion in a good way though. I love the absolute hell out of it. We need some more of that. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. All right. In this survey, also woman won the women's rankings, especially in its high support of women and less than teenagers and women in their 20s and 30s, which means that they are gathered, gathering exponent, excuse me, expectations from both old and new fans. The third place is, quote, Phase 3 of Kaguya Sayuga. I think this is the one the kid has psychic powers, if I'm wrong. In the second term, the original animation of the same name was originated. The first period of TV animation broadcast in 2016. The live action movie was released in October 2017. I didn't know that part. Both males and females gathered votes. Among them, teenagers ranking has been, has, has become on the top. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. Aside from that, as a tendency of generations, a comedy of work, quote, real butcher, unquote, appeared, but, uh, excuse me. But before, but, but, Fifth place ranks in the rankings of 20s. Rama Love Kozumi san, sixth place, which has depicted the girl's high school student pursuing delicious ramen every day, is ranked in second place. That almost sounds like a spinoff of Food Wars. Just my own personal viewpoint and standard on that. Let's keep it moving. Which depicts the girls, blah, 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 I just read that, 50 to 6, zero generations, or 60 generations. In addition, although it is outside at the top 20, Shinki Katsu, Deformation Robo Sika, Sika Line, I think that's what it is, Sika Line, the animation, is a huge robot that transforms from real Shinki Katsu and firmly grasps the heart of the child generations centered on men, ranked second and less than ranking of the first teenagers. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting, I guess. 2018 broadcasting winter animation viewing is intentional sex ranking top spot. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but we're going to go with the flow with that and say, I don't know. They said they're not going to discriminate in genders and qualities in any of that. So, uh, I don't know. Let's keep reading. 59 years old. 47 prefectured nationwide from the 250,000 
people panel in Japan operated based on user research system, EBI, for entertainment genres such as movies, television, and games, accounts, or uh, cross, I've never heard of that name in my life, cross tabulation. What? I'm freaking confused with that. I'm scratching my head a little bit because I don't know what this thing is. It's a hat. <laughs> it's got the Batman v Superman. I am Batman. Here we go. Nah, that's somebody else. <laughs> Alright, so, um, let's see. cross elation I still don't know what that even means. I'm going to have to go on Urban Dictionary to find out what that is. It's performed by combining certain segment user preferences based on data extracted. EBI, 14 years old and younger, will be surrogated. Reply for parents. Okay. Services will provide us with a... This just sounds like a lot of, like, corporate crap. GZ Brain Inc. said you say Kochi Hariumi was established as a holy... I'll just read about the internet site, at least. It's the least nice thing to do. It's wholly owned subsidiaries by Karoa, Karakawa, Karokawa Company LTD on July 3rd, 2017. We are planning, producing, editing, and managing various game medias and services, including Famitsu. I heard of Famitsu before. Or Famitsu. And Bees Log brands. In addition to the publication of the information magazines, we are de developing businesses to come void for the fun of games. Fun of games from all... I can't read the second part. I don't know why. It's weird as hell. Come on. Oh, well. You guys can just read that last part now. Overall thoughts, these and opinions. The car capture thing that's coming back is great. That's hopefully... Oh, there it is. From Allegiance, including the planning and management of web and media events, game animation, video game distribution, concept, and production of game and marketing. Official website, yada, yada. Yeah, overall thoughts, these and opinions. That's great. It brings the Car Captors remake. I don't know if it's a remake or a continuation where they last left off. I think it's a continuation on where they last left off. So, um, that's going to be pretty awesome. Pretty damn epic because they're bringing a younger generation with the millennials and linksters. They might love the crap out of that anime series. They might not. I actually thought it was a decent, good anime. Wasn't the best because at that time they were competing with stuff in the mid late 90s, like with, um, obviously Pokemon and with Digimon. They were. Really, really competing with the whole Monsters thing. And that other thing, Monster Rancher, that was one of my top five biggest nostalgic mid-late 90s animes that I grew up with as myself when I was a kid at the time. Along with um, another one, which was Duel Masters. I think that was early 2000s, though, but kind of the same con concept. But it was um, Yu Yu Hakusho at the time I was watching. Stuff that wasn't monster and human-like training stuff, like that one out of Star, the Tenshi Muyo series. I think those are literally the very two first two anime series I've ever seen, which was um, Tenshi Muyo and the other one, I think Gundam C. And after that, I started getting even way more indoctrinated, way more fanboyish of um, being in like the anime community and stuff, being an otaku. It is what it is. Even though, granted, I do have an IRL job and I'm doing that trade school thing like I said before. But nevertheless, I like to sit back and unwind and, you know, just like brace it all in. You know, brace all the fan services in, regardless if it's good or bad. I don't know. The car capture thing, I don't know if it's going to be as big as it was before in the mid-late 90s, but we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed that shit does um, take off in an astounding, positive way. And that's it. Luckily, my roommate's hiring, so I can make as much fucking noise as I want. I'm done. Links to description box down below. Hard tab on the side if you want to see um, the person I got this information stuff from, and I'm done. Peace the hell out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus, or ladies and gentlemen, I'll talk with Zeke and and fanboys and fangirls out there. I will see when I see you guys again, have a good night wherever you are around the world. I'm drinking smoke at the same time. Don't do the reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it left out there. And until then, nothing, guys. Peace out. My nice heart and gone and out of here. Stay tuned for future content. See you more updates. Stay tuned more future commentary, content, and vlogs on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good ass Christmas or have a regular day, whatever you don't celebrate or, or do. And that's it. And happy early 2018. See you guys on the next one. Hopefully, I'm going to take a week or two vacation. But if I do, you know where I'm at. Lates and goodbye.